Hello everyone, this is Amrit Pal Singh. Welcome to the next video. In this video, I'll be talking about RDD transformations in Apache Spark. Let's get started. So what are RDD transformations? RDD transformations are the Spark operations. When executed on RDD, it result in a single or multiple new RDDs. So what is the meaning? Like in this case, like when you perform some operations on a parent RDD, it give us the child RDDs. This is the meaning of transformations. Transformation meaning is like changing data from one state to another state. This is the meaning of basic transformation. RDDs are immutable in nature, which we already know. RDD stands for Resilient Distributed Data Set. What makes it resilient? Because it's immutable. When you perform some operation on the parent RDD, the parent RDD remain unchanged or unaffected rather than it give you the new RDD, right? So transformations always create a new RDD without updating an existing one and it creates a RDD lineage. Lineage meaning is some kind of flow, right? How the first RDD give you the next one, like there'll be some relationship available. This dependency or this relationship will be represented in the form of lineage graph. So what is lineage? This is the called lineage. Means when you perform some operation on first RDD, let's suppose map operation, it will be giving me the second RDD, provided the first RDD contents remain unaffected. And even on the second RDD, you again perform another operation, it gives you the third RDD and goes on, right? It means all the transformations, what is happening, it is giving you the new RDD, leaving the first or the parent RDD remain unaffected. RDD transformations are lazy in nature. Lazy evaluation is the basic characteristic of Scala language as well as in the Apache Spark, everything is happening lazily. Lazily meaning is like that we need to delay the computation, right? None of the transformations get executed until you call an action on Spark RDD. Like in trigger, uh, like uh, it will not be uh, like get into action uh, unless and until you carry out some update, delete or insert operation in the same way uh, like your all RDD transformations, maybe filter, flat, map, map are of no use till the time you call the action, maybe collect or maybe save as text file. Then only the all transformations will get into play, right? This is the meaning of lazy evaluation. The, tra the transformations in RDD are of two types, narrow transformations and wide transformation. What it means, narrow meaning is these transformations are performed locally on each partition and do not require any exchange of data between partitions, which makes this uh, transformation least expensive, right? Because there'll be no shuffling of data between one partition to another partition. This is the meaning of narrow transformation. What are the examples? Map, flat map, filter, and many more are the examples of narrow transformation. As far as wide transformation is concerned, what, are, what does it mean? Uh, these transformations require the exchange of data between the partitions. It means there'll be shuffling taking place. We already have learned shuffling in the case of MapReduce as well. Shuffling make the data, make this operation very expensive, right? So wide transformations are more expensive operations than the narrow transformation because here the shuffling of data or exchange of data taking place between the partitions. Uh, the examples are reduce by key, group by key, join, etc. are the examples of wide transformations. So this is uh, the graphical representation of narrow transformation. In this case, these are the partitions has been shown and there is no shuffling taking place, right? In the case of this, it means it's one to one. It's like one to one mapping happening in the left side, but in this case, one to many means like you can, this is the parent, right? From where you're getting some uh, data and in the in the child partitions, you can see the, the data can be going anywhere. It means this is an exchange of data happening in the multiple partitions. This is one to many. Like in the in your uh, DBMS, we, we have studied the concept of ER diagram in which we talk about cardinality. So here it is one to one cardinality, one to one mapping. In the, but in this case, one to many, right? This is a wide transformation. So to help you understand, I've already have a, a taken one example on my IDE, I'm using Scala IDE. And in this case, I'll be showing you some use case of the, uh, this transformations. So in this example, like I've already have discussed some examples before that, you can check out my playlist of Apache Spark, right? In this case, uh, like I'm just giving you one simple example uh, through which you can come to know what is the meaning of the narrow trans the transformations as well as the narrow and wide, right? First of all, what is happening? I've already made a project in Scala. Afterwards, I made an object with the name obj1 and in the main method, I have defined my Spark session. So what is Spark session? Spark session is nothing but the entry point to the Apache Spark functionality. And this, this thing I've already have explained, I'll be putting up the link uh, as well as well as in this video. 
uh, first of all we are initializing this uh, spark context or spark session we can say and through which i'm calling a method text file text file is a method through which we can read a data from a text file the file which i'm using is this one dr.txt i can show you this is a file in which we have some content available i would like to uh, count the number of uh, words or count i want to count the occurrence of each and every character here means how many a's are available how many b's are available how many c's are available it means word count i want to do it right for that first of all i'm applying the first transformation the first transformation is flat map flat map is helping us in reading a data word by word in which i'm using a split method through which the data will be separated okay the comma is a separator in this case followed by second transformation which is map through which we are uh, just applying one to each and every word here right you can see s comma one s comma one meaning is like s gives s comma one meaning is i'm assigning one to each and every character in this uh, like in this file means a will be assigned one b will be assigned one c will be assigned one it means every uh, character every alphabet in this file will be assigned one so that when we aggregate with the help of reduce by key then all the corresponding ones will be aggregated as well this reduce by key act like a group by of sql so in this example i'm using two um, narrow transformations which is flat map and map one wide transformation which is reduced by key at, at, at the end of the line what i'm doing is i'm just saving the result back to my disk on this uh, folder rdd output right this is the complete meaning so in this case first step to initialize this spark context which is the entry point followed by i'm reading a file and i'm storing in a, a variable a here actually a is not with not a variable it's a rdd a is my first rdd b is my second rdd c is my third rdd d is my fourth rdd in this way these a b c d are acting like a rdds here in which a is my parent rdd b c d are my child rdds and in this case flat map is my first narrow transformation with the help of which i'm reading data word by word second narrow transformation is map in which i'm assigning one to each and every character then i'm using the third transformation which is wide in nature which is reduced by key through which i'm aggregating all the similar things together and the last save as text file it is the action because the i've told you in my uh, ppt that the flat map map reduced by key these all are the transformations and they are lazily lazily evaluated they're waiting for some action to be called so what's the action here save as text file then only you'll be getting result on your screen let's see if it's working or not i'm running this as my scala application so i'm running it here let's see if we can get the answer in my uh, this folder rdd output make sure this folder should not be available earlier okay because uh, the spark will create this folder automatically so i guess it's already been executed let's check out in your documents there should be presence of rdd output you can see rdd output is got created the same time you can see 26 first it means today's date and at four o'clock and inside this you will be getting one part file you can open up with the notepad i'm opening the notepad and you can see the occurrence b is coming four times a is coming four times and c is coming four times you can see it's the right result right so this is the end of this video in which i have explained the meaning of transformations on rdds I hope you must have understood from this video. For rest of the content, I'm coming, coming with the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next video.